Well, today I'm reminded of a very fun story about my dear Aunt Angie. Now, when I was growing up, we lived close enough to my grandparents that we could spend a lot of time with them. And the fun part was, is I had an aunt that wasn't more than 10, 15 years older than we were. So we loved spending time with Aunt Angie. She was crazy and fun and very beautiful. We as a family had decided to take a trip up to Canada. Well, my dad, being an avid Boy Scout and Scoutmaster, had all the things so we could camp. My grandparents uh, would rent a trailer that fit on top of their car. And it was a long rectangular box and you could crank it up and it'd have a tent in it. And then you just had a ladder and you'd climb up on top of the car and into the tent that sat on top of the car. Well, we took off for our trip and was very excited because everything was fun when we could spend time with our grandparents and especially Aunt Angie. We would stay at KOA campgrounds and we were especially excited as we pulled up to one and this KOA campground was attached to a big lake and we couldn't wait to go swimming. Our Aunt Angie said she'd take care of us. I have an older sister, Mary, that was there at the time and then myself and then I had a younger sister that was way too small to go but our Aunt Angie took Mary and myself and we went to the lake. Now my Aunt Angie of course was very beautiful. She had the long hair, the blue eye shadow, the long lovely lashes with her mascara and her two-piece bathing suit. Well, we got there, and she laid her towel out on the dock, and she got down and put a little suntan, ocean, suntan lotion on, and then she proceeded to lean back on her elbows, shake her hair. She raised one knee up just so slightly and had the other leg and toe pointing out. Oh, she looked so cute. It was instantaneously Guys from everywhere were surrounding her. They all sat down. I noticed everything that she said, the boys would laugh. And any time they said anything, she would smile and shake her hair and laugh. <laughs> well, I'd had enough of that. I was there to swim. My older sister Mary had swimming lessons, so she was out paddling around already having fun. I decided to stay close to the shore because I wasn't really a good swimmer. And I met some friends and we were having fun and playing and great time. And every once in a while I'd look up and I'd see my Aunt Angie sitting on the dock ever so glamorous. Well, as time would have it, I was slowly getting farther and farther out. It was a little bit harder for me to keep my toes on the ground. And then it happened. Several people jumped off the dock and the waves lifted me and carried me out. And I was no longer able to touch the ground. I, I started choking. Water was going to my nose and my face. And I was going down and up and down and up. And I screamed, help! My Aunt Angie, she heard. She jumped up, forgetting how coy and beautiful she was. She started to elbow race down that dock. She gave it everything that she had. It was a like a firefighter running in to save someone's life. She gave it all that she had, arms pumping. She reached the side of the dock. She raised her arms high above her head, and she dove in the water just like a professional lifesaver. She swam over. She reached her arm around me. She dragged me to the dock. She threw me up, and then she leaped up on the dock just like any professional lifesaver would do. I knew my Aunt Angie loved me. She'd saved my life. I'm breathing. I'm looking around. And all those boys are looking at her like, What just happened? I'll tell you what happened. She put all those brave men to shame. And she is my hero forever. Love you, Aunt Angie. Thanks for saving my life. See you later.